Now that I usually work eight hours a day in VR, several people have asked me about the experience. Since I have some downtime, I wanted to put together a short video to give anyone who's interested a quick peek. So far, I've logged over 300 hours inside Immerse, a software I use. That's the equivalent of working full-time in VR for about two months. When I first tested the possibility of working in VR, it really wasn't feasible. But now, as of the Quest 3, with the newest Bobo VR strap and 10,000 milliamp external batteries, it's finally doable, even if the Quest 3 isn't really meant to be worn eight hours per day. I'm very hopeful that the experience will be even better once the Immersed releases their visor later this year. But that's a rabbit trail for another day. So here's my environment inside Immersed. Since I pre-ordered the Founders Edition of the visor, I actually have a lifetime subscription to Immersed Pro that lets me have up to five monitors. But as you can see, I'm only using three, which is the free version. But I have everything arranged almost as though I had six screens. Up top, I basically have maybe an eight-foot curved monitor that I either use as two screens with different windows on each half or as one big monitor for the large spreadsheets I work on every day, which is way better than having the spreadsheet on two physical monitors side by side like I used to with a big gap in the middle. And over here, I have a large single vertical monitor, or it's three normal monitors stacked on top of each other. And in front is my primary screen. I can make any of these screens flat or curved, but for larger monitors, curved is easier on the eyes. It might seem overkill to some people to have six screens, but there are times when it's very handy, like when I'm calling the IRS to have them fix another tax return they messed up. I can have one note in the top left window with a script I wrote that I read to IRS representatives that drastically increases the chance that it will be a half-hour fix instead of a multi-call, multi-hour ordeal. And I put the IRS notice claiming we made a mistake here. And I open the actual tax return in my tax software here. And the earned income credit tables go here. And then on this screen, I can open a three-page PDF I create compiling all our EIC calculations that I often need to fax to the IRS to show them how to do their own job. So they'll correct their corrections back to the way I filed in the first place, which puts everything I need visible without needing to flip back and forth between stacked windows and still leaves me with one window free for me to work on other things while the IRS repeatedly puts me on hold for five to seven minutes over and over again. This kind of setup really might not be reasonable if I, was, if I had to physically drag and stretch windows to fit them where I wanted them. But arranging them is quick and easy to do with the default keyboard shortcuts that come built into Windows that lets you snap uh, your screens to the left half of the monitor or the right half, or even to the top, middle, or bottom thirds. Now, instead of working in a virtual environment, I can also enter mixed reality mode and just have these monitors floating around me in my actual office. These are not monitors stuck in your vision that move wherever you turn your head. As you can see, these things have a physical presence in the room, like they're actually here. I can walk around to the side of them, but since they're zero pixels wide, they start to disappear as I pass them. With the shortcut menus that pop up in either palm, one of the coolest parts of Immersed, I can also turn off the monitors if I want to take a quick look around the room, just to make sure there are no axe murderers hanging around. Fun fact, in From Under the Sun, my award-winning science fiction trilogy, I made up futuristic headsets called Nokis, which stands for Neuro Optical Kinesthetic Interface. These Nokis had a similar setup with panels of screens floating around the room. Now, with what Immersed is making mainstream, this is yet one more thing, out of three that I can think of offhand, that I had invented in my head years ago, which are now no longer considered mere science fiction. I have been waiting literally decades for this stuff to be invented, and we're finally getting there. The technology of the future is starting to arrive today, and it is awesome. Speaking of futuristic awesomeness, here's my favorite virtual environment to work in. This is a lounge in a space station, with the Earth just outside the window rotating slowly about once every 17 minutes. I can choose to change seats anywhere you see a red arrow. There are quite a few seats on the upper level where I'd have a better view of the moon, but that moon is an abomination. It's not to scale, it's too close to the Earth, and the topography is all wrong. No sea of serenity, no ocean of storms, nothing. But that doesn't stop this from still being the coolest virtual environment in Immersed. As you can see, I have floating windows called portals to the real world in key places. These let me see who's ringing the doorbell at the back of the building, or who's at my office door, or in the lobby. And of course, I have one that lets me see my keyboard which I made big enough for me to see my personal computer where I keep my music collection so I can play music throughout the day. I could turn the portals off if I wanted to really immerse myself in VR. But that's kind of like working in a room of one-way mirrors where everyone can see me, but I can't see them. And while I don't expect to ever have Tammy standing outside my office with an ax getting ready to go postal, 
I'm still more comfortable being aware of some of my surroundings. In addition to all these virtual environments that Immerse makes, I can also upload my own 360 degree photo to work in, or Immerse provides several pictures to choose from. My favorite is this beach. All right, and my favorite seat on the beach is this one where I can see the boats in the water and the mountains in the distance. And off to my right, there's beach chairs. Um, so it's not just a beach, it's a resort. And at times I will actually, instead of playing my music, I'll cue up hours of beach sounds with the waves and seagulls. And it really is so immersive uh, that you can almost fool yourself into thinking you're working on the beach, and which is just fantastic. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Okay, that just happened. All right, hey, let me wrap this up with one last thought, a word of caution. If you're like me and you wind up being the only person in your office who works in VR, you run the risk of making your coworkers uncomfortable because they can't see your eyes. So I decided to address the issue by uh, putting a big sticker on the front of my headset. And I say, problem solved. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, let me know. If someone wants to come by my office and actually try these on firsthand, I'd be happy to let you. Bye.